31-year-old Tyler Wenrick faces a mandatory minimum of 12 years in prison in Turks and Caicos after police there alleged they found him in possession of two rounds of 9mm ammunition. I feel like as a very honest mistake that 12 years is absurd. Speaking to CBS News, his wife Jerry Ann says Wenrick had been in the territory for less than a day. Police said they found the ammo as Wenrick went through security to reboard a cruise ship. My son's only 18 months old, and I just don't want him to grow up without a dad. Wenrick was an EMT in Powhatan and served for many years with that county's volunteer rescue squad. In a letter shared with CBS 6, Chief J.T. Smith says Wenrick is kind, compassionate, and was a role model in the agency. He adds the squad is saddened and shocked by what happened and are committed to supporting the family. Spokespeople for Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine said both are aware of Wenrick's case. Warner's office says they've been in touch with his family and are exploring avenues to help, while Kane's office says he's spoken with the State Department to ensure Wenrick gets fair treatment and will monitor the case. Meanwhile, the State Department says it stands ready to provide support when a citizen is arrested overseas, but adds they are generally subject to a country's laws, even if they differ from the U.S. Wenrick is the fourth American facing prison time for allegedly being found with ammunition in Turks and Caicos. Last week, the U.S. Embassy in Nassau urged all travelers to be aware of the penalties they could face and to carefully check their luggage for stray or forgotten ammunition or weapons. At a TSA screenings in the U.S. may not catch them. The TSA says it did not catch four rounds of ammunition that led to an Oklahoma man's arrest in Turks and Caicos and is investigating how that happened, but reiterated travelers are responsible for their luggage. In a statement, the government for Turks and Caicos says it reserves the right to enforce its laws, but adds judges can give less than the mandatory minimum with exceptional circumstances. The latest information for Wenrick is that he remains in custody and has his next court appearance on June 7th. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.